What's going on, my friends? Welcome to episode 63 of the Get Ikea Get Podcast, bringing you the hot takes, play stories, and spicy picks showing New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, national, and international sports. Hosted by your Shuli and Rosali. Join us now around by Michael Cunningham, Alex Reach, Chris Kieran, Marcellus Burdock, and Sam Morell. Because this is a podcast right now on SoundCloud, our podcast, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and YouTube. Also, show up on Twitter at GetAGameRP. With all that said, it's time to get a game on. Yo, guys, I hope everyone here, just for the record, I hope everyone here, did y'all enjoy your holiday? Did y'all enjoy your New Year's? Yeah, but you guys yeah, aren't dead okay. yet, so I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it. All right, life. for those who want to know my holidays and New Year's in a nutshell, um, cookies, <laughs> video games, basketball, Christmas movies, just the whole nine yards. It was just a great holiday. It was just a great holiday for me. My personally. holiday season is Adam. I beat Adam in basketball on the holiday break. So actually, no. Uh, I nice try there, Michael Cunningham. Me and my. For those who don't know, it wasn't on Christmas, but it was like one, one of the days before Christmas. Me and Michael got together. We went to um our local sports center. We did bank cages, and we also like, and we also played a bit of hoops there. We just record we had a free throw contest, and we played two rounds of a round row. Because I remember the last time Michael was talking all that crap about me blowing the lead to him in a round of rounds. So, so we decided to play that again. And just for a record. One of us won all three contests. You guys want to guess who it is? Nobody's going to believe you won, so... It was me. I... I I was a better athlete, it sounds like. I am not lying. All right, all right. Let's put this up to polio. Who who thinks I won and who thinks Michael won? I I believe Adam. Chris has smart man, smart George man. Lee. Chris has a hidden secret hatred for me, so he did, can't. Did you win, Mike? I no, did. he did. No, he did. Now He's sound lying. Like he did. He's no, lying. I am sick. I am sick as a dog. I can tell how bad. I, first of all, hey, hey, Sam. If uh, Sam says if Adam won, Mike, Mike doesn't even know how to walk a, his phone for this podcast. You think he could be Adam in any? Physical competition. <laughs> oh. Chris, I love okay. you. Chris, I love you. Okay. Uh, do you ble- who do you believe? Who do you think won? Who do you think won? Uh, I feel like it could be a tight one. Because oh, he's playing the fence. He won't. He's playing the fence. He won't pick a side. He's playing the fence. But I know for a fact. <laughs> I know I for a fact. I would beat everything, Mike. You know what, Sam? Next. I'm coming for you next. Next time when we we're playing around the world, Sam. It was world. cold inside, and I had to let Sam Adam win. That was my Christmas gift for me to Adam. There's no way Mike let Adam win. He did not let There's me win. No he did not let me Adam. Win. Adam, how many times we played basketball one on one, and I beat you every time about? Trying? Yeah, you beat me one on one. You didn't beat me around the world. You did not Adam, beat me around I'll the world. Give you I beat you twice I'll in around the world. Credit. I beat you in a free throw contest. Adam's a better shooter. That's why I'm here. He that is a good shooter. Yeah, well, that's, I, the, what, I, that's the one thing I'm better than Mike Lyons Oscar is shooting. That's the only thing. <laughs> I hear bullshit, Mike. That's what Sam <laughs> said. Um, Marcel, do you want to chime in here? Who do you believe won? Who do you believe won? I'm saying I won. Michael's Lyon said he won. Who do you believe? Marcel is blood. I believe, b- believe you won, Adam. <laughs> okay. Marcel, Majority rules. Believe. One tie, one on Michael to me. Boom. Adam, but I bet you $100 I will beat you with one on time. I'll be on my back in a real one-on-one game. <laughs> one on we play one-on-one up to 10. I will have one arm tied behind my back, and I'll still beat you. I think what do you Adam say about that? Really? I do. I think Adam can get him in. <laughs> Adam has never beat me in a one-on-one back. I've never beat him in one-on-one. That's one thing. On I'm, I'm not going to beat Michael in one one, one one thing. I'll, I'll make it fair, Chris. I'll make it fair. He gets five points to start with. Adam gets five points. Oh, he'll definitely beat you then. I'm a great defender. Adam knows that. I'm a great with one de- hand With one arm? <laughs> I can do it, bro. I'll just have one arm like this. And have a, like... 
Okay, one on top draw back and, and me up by five, I'll beat him. Yeah. You you won it, no shot. <laughs> Your Alex, remember when I beat uh John by like he I gave him seven points and I beat him to 11, 12 to seven at T C and J. You are Wait, not comparing uh, John to me. Yeah, <laughs> Adam is sucked. very offended. <laughs> <laughs> you both suck. Uh, honestly. You're just you're saying you suck with someone who just beat you. Wow. You're Adam, saying you suck with someone who just whooped your butt and embarrassed you three times. Adam, it's a shooting contest. Basketball is more than shooting, Einstein. Yeah, but you challenged me to a shooting contest, and who won? Adam, who I won all three times? One on one in one day. If I would have beat you in one on one, you know that would been like. Sam says I want to verse Mike real bad. Yo, the three of us need to get together and, and get and get that set up. We need to get that set up. First of all, I'll play. For, I'll play for real against Sam, but Adam, I don't have to. First of all, I bet me and Alex could cook Sam and Adam easily. Nah. Nah. And me and Marcellus could beat Chris and Sam easy. Probably. Because Chris is like, well, yeah, I don't think Chris could play. I think he was more like the water boy. But <laughs> yo, guys, I'm going to see. You'll see. Once this day. episode is Might be a up, couple years. Yo, guys, one day. I'm going to put up a poll on Twitter once this episode is up. I will see you always believe one. Who. Sam says I'm burning up, but we'll, we'll, oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see who the honest and police will win. Who, who's win? No, Me and no, uh, you should, Sam no. versus Michael and Alex. First of all, me and Ali's got that that got that basketball chemistry down. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Mister Rich? Yep. We're like Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. <laughs> well, me and Sam would then be like, <laughs> so Kyrie you can't share the court together. Again. Now, first of all, me and Alex, we got that chemistry. Uh, you mean you mean Tobias Harris and Embiid? Yeah, there you go. True. Yeah. Oh, I got first that one. All, Seth Curry Sam, and Embiid. You play like the white boy. Shut up, Sam. You got you got that white boy hops. You got them white boy hops. You can only jump off of five feet off the ground. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, this is Sam, record, guys. If you're wondering why Sam's communicating the task, because his mic's hot. We're having technical issues with his mic, so. Sam, you're a white boy. <laughs> Do it. He's Hispanic, all right. <laughs> Sam, I'm just doing it because Sam, you ain't got no hops. I don't remember. My mind ain't that good how it used to be. <laughs> all right, guys, you want to talk some sports now? You want to talk some actual professional sports? Let's do it. Got- hey, guys. I was debating what are we gonna open the show with. I was thinking about that. We're what are we going to show with? Are, are we are we gonna open um with uh the Giants and like them like apparently bring back Joe Judge and Daniel Jones, which uh playing our thoughts on that. Are we gonna go up with um Chris's Chiefs twenty eight straight before um losing to the Bengals? Are we gonna open with Sam's Ravens absolutely falling apart, losing what was it? Five straight now. Or go as um or we go up with Jets talk. I was thinking, what should we open the show with? Or Mike's Cowboys. And, or or your Cowboys. But a certain someone this past week 17 stole all the headlines for all the wrong reasons. I feel like we need to open the show <laughs> with this individual. Adam, please, Guys, you know, Adam. do you do you want to guess who I'm talking about here? Who wants to go, who wants to take a guess? I'll take I'll take a shot at it. Antonio Brown. Bingo! Ding 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 ding! All right, guys, like I am, you're a big winner. You win a prize. It's absolutely. Oh no! Insane. My dad was at that game with my cousin. They were at the game today. They're, They're at the game. Little... They're at the game. Okay, then we need what? you stop saying it off for us. Okay, what 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 did your dad see? <laughs> Here's the thing. My dad became a Brady fan, but that's just a different. Because we have my, my dad's job, we were for Amazon. They give us just season tickets. Perks my work for Amazon, boys. So, anywho, I was chilling, you know, at home, watching the game, like you know, like we always do. CBS, CBS Sunday is for the boys. You remember that, boys? And I was watching. I was really saw. I just saw a dude like stripping, like streaking. I'm like, you know what? Please don't tell me for the love of God that's Antonio Brown. Or please let that be a fan. You know what I'm saying, Adam? 
You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. This, I don't know how fucked up you have to be in the head to take, and you're making over a million dollars. More than the six of us will make, and he's making more than we will all six of us combined will make in a day. What we make in a year, he makes in a day. You know what I mean? And uh, with especially because Antonio Brown's history, he figured like he would at least know better, and you know, um, and yo behave, behave. If he wants to, if he wants to practice his new career in stripping, you know, I'm I'm not for it. <laughs> If, if Antonio Brown wants to be a stripper, man, shit, don't be you in the wrong you in the wrong business, brother. This is this is the NFL. You can't be stripping, brother. Especially, you, Matt, uh, I know this is gonna sound effed up, but and we're going with so it. Could you imagine Antonio Brown the stripper? Yeah. Now I'm having a nightmare tonight. Things happen. I think sorry, he gave me out, out there. Alex, no. Don't encourage his behavior. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Chris is like, Chris is like, we going to hell for this episode. That's what Chris is thinking. We going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just typed in the chat. He dancing like a stripper, but I mean, what else can you say other than like, I mean, I mean, Antonio Brown was cut. Uh, Bruce Arians announced that he, that Antonio Brown is no longer with the Bucks. Apparently, like um, he like and Bruce Arians, the head coach of the Buccaneers, got into an argument. In this I, I, I believe I forget what it was about, but Tony Romo did, and there was a ruse at first that Antonio that Arians benched him, Antonio Brown, and that turned out to be not true. But apparently, had some sort of argument. Antonio Brown left. He literally took his jersey off and ran off the field. And I, I, got, I was like, if this was any other athlete, I would be shocked by this. I'd be absolutely shocked. But considering who we were talking about here, this makes it way, way less right. They still like really, you know, um, you know, effed up what he did. But we consider like Antonio Brown's history, like the way. His history with um the Raiders, his history with um with the, uh, how and how that situation like handled um the, how fast you know Bill Belichick and the Patriots got rid of him and I'm like this is just I mean this is just, you know that gif like of um gridiron heights of hey guys has been another Antonio Brown thing that sums up the situation in a nutshell in my opinion. Here's what I'm gonna ask you guys. Here's what I'm gonna ask. Or Me, Chris, spot- do you agree? Yeah, that, that was funny. That was the first thing you thought of, Adam. Why when we were talking about it in our chat, you yeah. brought up that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, you were a dickhead for bringing that up. <laughs> but here's the thing. I got a question for you. All four of you, five of my brothers. Yeah. Where does his career go now? Yeah. Oh, Canadian Football League, Dancing with the Stars. Probably Chipping Dales in Las Vegas. That's where he's thinking about going next. I mean, as far as <laughs> I heard, I saw, I saw, I saw someone say like a pop up all then. Oh, here's what Sam. Here's what Sam had to say. It's very. It's just very unprofessional. And he's just very childish. He doesn't deserve the money. And to be honest, I'm not surprised he pulled his antics. He was once a star. However, he's just the more fucked up version of Kyrie. He's done. Sam, don't compare him to Kyrie. At least Kyrie want to do this. Yeah, yeah don't co- do not compare him at, uh, yeah, like and talk about the Kyrie. Say whatever you want about Kyrie. Well, Brown, Robin, if you would have said, I think Antonio Robin, Brown's antics are like put that, Kyrie's to shame. First of all, Antonio Brown is like Dennis Rodman. Let's get that away, okay? He's like the NBA version of Dennis Rodman. I was thinking in my head. That's Antonio that's Brown, you are the new Dennis Rodman. Congratulations. You're probably going to go to China, go, go to Korea, hang out with Kim Jong-un, and be like, America sucks, like Dennis Rodman did. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, I got, I got something to say. I got something to say. To Antonio Brown, you're one of my favorite wide receivers. You were on Madden. Antonio Brown, congratulations. Y'all going to make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Antonio <laughs> Brown lost his mind up in here, up in here. 
DMX said, y'all gonna make me lose my mind? Antonio Brown, your mind is officially fried, my brother. Sam says, I think it's Ben Stop working, which that is one angle I want to um, take a like, um, to um Mental this, health is, that, is, is very that, important. Is that, is that, yeah, it, it is very important. But did you guys see what Tom Brady had to say in the post game presser? I actually did not. Uh, no, but uh, I haven't listened to it all. But you fit, you figure like t- if I'm in Tom Brady's shoes, I'm thinking to myself, I got this. I gave this guy a chance when no one else did. Like I gave this guy two chances when no one else did. Like I like I recruited him to the Patriots. He got cut. I recruited him to um, the um, Buccaneers, and and I helped them win a Super Bowl. He won, and Tony Brown won a Super Bowl with the Bucs. I got this guy a Super Bowl ring, and this is how you're pacing. So, if I'm a, if I'm Tom Brady, I'd be a little bit ticked. Like I'm thinking to myself, he like, he I would understand if he was a Tony Brown, but he wasn't at all. He was he was very sympathetic to that Tony Brown, and he basically said, "Yo, I really hope he's doing okay mentally." And I th- and I do think that um. Mental health is a, is a factor in um, this conversation because I don't know if you guys remember back in the 2016 playoffs. Like, the, this this whole thing started back in – um remember the 2016 playoffs? I guess, I guess the Bengals. And Tony oh, yeah. Brown got drilled that game. I don't know if you guys saw that play. He got drilled by – I forget who it was. Probably he's playing with, like, like, mentally – Month is perfect. So and I've heard this theory like no, ba- sorry. Vontez perfect. Bon- he, he got drilled by Vontez perfect. And a lot of people were speculating. Like, I know one of my friends from college initially brought this up to me. Like, is this the first case of of we're seeing at an NFL player show actual, you know, CTE symptoms while they're still playing? And honestly, guys, like with just this latest news in the Antonio Brown saga, like, I would not be surprised if that's the case. I'm not wishing that on him because CT is something that is just, like, it's it's something that you don't wish on. It's it's a very, you know, serious thing that you don't wish on it. anyone. And my, and my heart goes out or to all Derek those affect, disease, affect, affected by it. So, I, so I'm not wishing that on him, but would I be necessarily be surprised if he – if Years and years and years from now, we find out that this was the CT was the reason behind this. I would honestly not be surprised. I mean, I mean, Chris, you, Chris, Sam, ourselves, Alex. Yeah, I kind of. I mean, definitely the mental health aspect. You gotta hope, hope he gets right. Hope he gets the help he needs with whatever he's going through. But like, professional standpoint, like it's just unacceptable. And like you talk about the CTE thing, like maybe that's a factor, but like. He's just he's gotta be a professional. That's it's, it. it's not an excuse. Like, it's, no. it's, it's, it's still There's not a, an excuse. A lot you got a lot going on, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna bash he like he's made a lot of mistakes, but I'm not gonna bash a man for I don't know what he's going through and all that. So I I just hope he can um kind of just get some help that he needs, I feel like. Here's what Sam has to say. I think his bed stopped working, but yeah, his mental health is good. I he and Sam says I he knows a lot of mental health and I deal with huge mental health issues. However, this is a new level. He needs to um seek professional help because this is something extremely long. And Sam says it's kind of a, it's kind of excuse. I can hear what you're saying, that Sam, but I can I can hear where, 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 where the, your angle going at. But but at the end of the day, like um the the thing I'm saying is that um. Even if he, I, I, I mean, it's it's hard it's hard to word it's hard really for me to word this, but, but like, like you can't just like um uh, for example you know storm off the field like um, and and the, and then just and then just claim that you have met until other issues and not expect to face consequences like, but like yeah, that's that's the point I'm saying like and that applies to all of us like I can't like for example, I don't know. Go shoplift somewhere and like use mental health as an excuse. Like that, that that's just the point I'm saying. Like the black man talk. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Michael. <laughs> go ahead, Michael. Well, yeah, you can you can go. You can go. Here's the thing. Uh, it's not. I know what Antonio Brown's going through because I suffer from mental health. People didn't know that, but I suffered through it. 
And it's a serious thing, you know, going through it, having, but however, he may not have it. Though. I think because some athletes do this to get publicity or just to get back in the headlines. Like, for example, about a lot of black people may disagree with me for this, but, and I probably the most pro black person out there, but Colin Kaepernick was doing this, the whole, not doing the Star Single Banner was because he wasn't playing that well either and nobody was talking about him. But no disrespect, I'm still pro-black and then, you know, but however, they want to get, he wants to get more headlines. They're losing the whole game, I believe, right, Adam? They're blue, They're losing the game. Yeah, they were losing. They, they were, I mean, we'll get to the rest of the game later on because I, I got some, just, I got some thoughts on that, but I'm building up. I'm but building continue. up so. But however, they were losing, and then he he leaves in the fourth, third quarter, I believe, right? Well, it was, was third it the quarter. third quarter or the second quarter? I'm not sure. Third, it was the third quarter. It was, it was the third quarter. Okay, it was third quarter. Gotcha. And I'm saying, and I'm like Antonio Brown, Bergen, Bergen Regional, and and Paramus, New Jersey, is looking for people that lo- lost their lives. You know what I'm saying? Bergen Pies is. If you need dear guys to go help, my mom is a psychiatrist. Her name is Lorna Heights Cunningham. Antonio Brown, if you need help, we got you, okay? We got you. My mom's a psychiatrist. She can give you the best help you can need, Antonio Brown. Be watching this and get your game on, crew. We got your back. But, but nigga, what were you thinking? <laughs> you're making more money. You're making more money than me. You make more money in the day I make in a year. Motherfucker, I would be, be happy if I had your contract. Shit. And you're playing with the greatest quarterback to probably play a game of football ever. And Tom Brady. You just won a Super Bowl. So, and, and you're on the nice for league. I would have been kissing Roger Goodell's ass if I had to. You know what I'm saying, Adam? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I mean, Alex, Marcel, uh, Marcellus, I mean, do you guys have any thoughts on this Antonio Brown saga? Because I, 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 I haven't got any thoughts on YouTube yet, so. Uh, and, um, I think he, he, definitely, he definitely woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, and I think that he should definitely get fined at least or get suspended for at least three games. He's cut from the Browns. No, 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 they they cut him. They cut him. No, no they they, no, cut, I mean, they, they, killed, they cut him from the team. I mean, uh, if if he gets back with another team, which I <laughs> no, doubt he walks about happen. this now. <laughs> the only team that may want him is the Canadian Football League, and they suck. <laughs> but I just uh think that it was really unnecessary and I'm not sure what his mind was on during that time. It was just a really atrocious sighting, uh, especially towards the end of the season. And I I really think that he should be, be fine for good from the NFL and he shouldn't be back at that to play. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing too. I think Antonio Brown, like I think I definitely think his career, like um, for for his own for his own sake, like I think his career needs to be over. I think for his own sake, he needs to step away from the game. I agree yeah. with that, one hundred percent. Yeah, because because uh, they yeah. like um, uh, they, like he's a millionaire. He's got all the money he needs, and this is something that um is way more serious, like than than football. Like like. His well being, like, it is like, um, he, he needs to take care of that. Like, that should be his, like, like, his number one priority to him. I mean, I mean, Marcellus, do you have any thoughts? I just, um, I mean, apparently the story behind it was that, uh, he got, he got benched, I guess. Um, no, no Bruce that, 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 that wasn't like, true. That wasn't true, I believe. But Bruce Arians said true. that that wasn't true. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, like Chris was saying, man, you know, like like you all were saying, mental health is a real thing. Uh, it's no secret that this guy has CTE, so you know the way he reacts is, you know, 
it's not normal, but um, it's probably best that you just cut ties with, with the NFL. I, I think the season's over. I think it was over for a while, to be honest. 100%. Yeah, not, not, yeah, I, I feel like we said all, all we could. Like, um, I, I mean, we're not excusing his actions, but I, I think I think we all can agree. Like, his like he's like this is one of those situations where like um he's clearly not well mentally, and he really I need the guy really needs help. That's all we're gonna say. We and we just hope that Tony Brown gets the help he needs. Um, before we get to Mike's house, like, this is not the only like um kind of like dark story like we have to talk about today. Hey, but. But this happened like um a couple of days ago. We a couple of days ago, and we and this is our first time doing an episode since it happened. So we just want to say, rest in peace, John Madden. Damn it! I was just wondering. Uh, what was can that I could, say? Was about... that could be your hot take? Was that could be your hot take? Yeah, spoiler. Alert. <laughs> but you... I, here's what I gotta say about John Madden. Okay. Here's the thing, from. My dad got to see John Madden like coach back in the day. So, yeah, so and I'm sure this is, I mean, my dad got to see him coach back in the day too. So, I think I mean, for us kids, like the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010 kids, we grew up. I think not just me, not just Alex, not Marcellus, not Chris, not Sam, but Adam, not all of us in this podcast. I think we grew up playing Madden. I think we all did. Not just me. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. All, I mean, I'm not wrong. All, right? I, all, yeah, I, definitely. I, I feel like we. Madden. I think all of us have played. I've like grown up playing Madden in some way, shape, or form. I mean, but yeah, this guy, this guy. When you talk about like football and football icons, like there's, okay. there, I, I, I dare you to name like two main more iconic football names of John Madden because this guy's impact to the Lombardi. game, like and, uh, Vince Lombardi, and that's it. Vince Lombardi, and that's it. Because John Madden, like, like they go always his pack of the game. He was a great, like, r- amazing head coach. Uh, he was an amazing broadcaster. Like, I remember, you know, um, like people say, people like listened like to broadcast like for John Madden. Like people tuned into specific broadcast, like, like, like broadcasting companies. Like, um, I, I, I believe was he was working for Fox. Like Fox, you know, um, they put out there, hey. Come listen to John Madden. That's how good this guy was as a broadcaster. And obviously, the video game series. I mean, I feel like uh, I feel like we've all at, at some point have experienced you know, um, Madden at some point in our lives. Like I remember one time it was like what what was it a, a decade ago? I remember I was playing Madden like um over uh, we were we were over their house um Christmas Eve. And I was and me and like um one of my um relatives we were we were playing Madden, Madden to get other. And there you go, and, and oh my god, it brings back so many great memories. So maybe we all played Madden in here. We all like to have a good time with it. But however, this kid, this guy, made a lot of football fans think. I used to kick everyone's ass in Madden, probably. Sam says on the I played Madden on the Game Boy Advance. We gotta get like for real to to John Madden. Family, we 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 we're, we're taking care of you guys. Thank you for sharing John Madden with us for over seventy years of work. Yeah, you definitely, de- definitely prayers go out to like um his families and people and his like loved ones at during this time. But Madden family, whatever you do, do not cancel the Madden franchise. Please do not cancel. Yeah, EA, 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 I mean, I mean, EA Sports, EA, EA Sports if you're listening, do not I cancel Madden. I may hurt you. For the love of God, man, do not cancel the Madden franchise. For the love of Jesus, do not cancel the Madden franchise. I mean, I, um, we, we, we've been speaking a lot. Can, you can I mean, cancel it, us. You can uh, cancel Get the Game on podcast, but do not <laughs> cancel Madden. Sam says this. He's a legend, one of the greatest sports icons of all time. I completely agree with what you're saying, Sam. I completely <coughs> agree. I mean, Chris, Marcellus, Alex, the floor is yours. Do you want to talk about Matt, John Madden for a bit? Oh, dear God. Uh, I mean, there's definitely billions of memories of him, uh, but 
I'm going to miss his football knowledge to the sport. And, you know, it's very sad. It's it's sad as Kobe dying. Um, and I think that the sports world is definitely going to miss him. And he's he goes down with one of the best uh, individuals in the sports generation. Uh, and I, I wish him well with whatever he, he does. I mean, um, Alex well said, Alex well said, Chris Marcelo, you want to go? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely just like he really impacted the game of football a lot. Like with his commentary coaching and the video game, it's iconic. I wish EA, EA could put together a better product now and is that, that is on, true. That honor is him true. a little bit better by putting together a good video game. But I mean, just if we're, if we're gonna talk was, about the gamer side of me, if we're talking about the video yeah, side of me, not, I got some thoughts on EA as a yeah, company. It's not not good, but that's <laughs> but, I, but I that, that aside, I, that aside, jab, like, I mean, but even even though like the game, like it's just a fun, it's a fun, like. NFL game, like, we all love the NFL. And, like, and he changed it. Like, he really brought about excitement of the game of football and way more than just a video game. Like, just the enthusiasm he had for it. It was just awesome hearing his commentary over the years and definitely, like, learning about how much he – how much of an impact he made on the game. Sam just said the game isn't good at all. I mean <laughs> – I mean, I mean, I mean that. I mean now. I, nowadays, I will admit, Matt is like um, one of those. I, I do admit, Matt. I mean, I, I haven't played any of the, game, Wait, the games. Wait, what? So hold up, hold up, hold up. I haven't played up, any up, of the games, so I can't really judge. But hold up, hold up. Go ahead. Madden is still fire. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. Stop. Madden is still this isn't, fire. This isn't the point of this debate, but it sucks. Madden does not suck. You probably suck at it because you suck at it. Oh but no, that it doesn't suck. I mean, Lee, bro, my defense maybe, you can't maybe score. Maybe you me. just trash that <laughs> Maybe because y'all both fucking trash at it, that's why y'all saying it sucks. Y'all probably get blown out by twenty-one points, but we gonna talk about that. Yeah. Michael well, probably, Michael probably you, just picks uh, you, Michael Mike. Vick and, and like wins every time. He thinks he's good. That's about. No, that's I, what I play, Michael does. I play all Madden, baby. I play all Madden. Sam says NBA 2K is better. I'll kick anyone's ass in 2K as well. Thank you. I mean, Marcellus, do you have any thoughts here? Do you try to interrupt them? This little debate they're having. Marcellus, do you have any thoughts? Marcellus sucks in 2K hymns, damn, son. <laughs> Come on, Mike. You know, you know I'm great at 2K. Come on, I'm playing you that right bugs. now. All you guys are fun. <laughs> you know what? We're going to sell this. We're going to have a 2K tournament. Winner, take all. Sam, you probably play a rookie level. Stop playing. 2K tournament? Play okay, level. I'm down. I'm down. 2K, Adam, two, pro- the past 2K suck. Let's do like 2K18 or something. 2K20. 2K22 is all right. 2K20. Uh, I'll, I'll, sell, I'll sell for 2K20. But, but Adam, myself, you probably yep. play, get, Adam probably plays on rookie level. He probably plays... Everything Hall of Fame. Every Adam plays on everything. As long as as long as you can give me the Nets with Harden, Kyrie, and Katie, I'm good. Adam, that's how bad you suck if you have to use them. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm showing my bias, but go ahead. I mean, my, yeah, I mean we go, we go, we go, we go play. We're gonna play an old 2K. We're gonna go back to 2K5. All right, two K five. I mean, I, I got I got the Jason Kidd net, so I'll be good with that. I, just I can't wait with the Pelican, Sam. This turn is this turned into like a tribute to John Madden to like a, a video game tournament segment. Hey, John Madden will look, want us to play video games too. What, Michael? That is very very true. <laughs> that is very very true. But Marcellus, do you have any thoughts on the past year on John Madden? Yeah, I don't think I think Madden that game sucks, honestly. But um, because nah, you guys suck at I mean, it, that's crazy. why you're saying it sucks. Nah, I'm not, I'm fired, man. But uh, nah, I just you think it was a tragedy to happen to him. You know, he's one of the best coaches, ever coach, legendary uh, commentator. It's just sad, you know. You hate to always hear stuff like that. I don't know if the reason came out yet. 
or not, but uh, it's just unfortunate. That's all I got to really say. I mean, I mean, that, that's all we can really see. I mean, the guy was just said, when you think football, you think John Madden. So prayers go out to um, his um, his uh, families and his loved ones during this difficult time. But, but I mean, but I feel like, like I feel like in this world, like it, it's a, it, yeah, it's sad that he's no longer with us. But now, now's a great time to just celebrate John Madden, like all I meant to the game of fo- football. So. So John Madden recipes, we all know, and, and we all know that right now he's in a better place with the Lord. So, R.I.P. John Madden. Let's be real. Sam just sa- sa- Sam says, um, let's be real though. Any sports game isn't as good as in real life. That is true. That is very very true, Sam. But R.I.P. to a legend. Plus, he did live a long good life. Very very true, Sam. Very true. But we gotta move on to. I can't do holiday puns anymore since it's no longer the holiday season. So thank God for that. So we got to move on to the segment of the show. That is like my jump shot over his jump shot. Mike's hot take. Okay, I'm taking it away. Adam. <laughs> Like Steph Curry airballing a three. F you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. And Adam, <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to run you over with my car repetitively until you pass out. Thank you. <laughs> my hot take is about LeBron James and Avery Bradley fighting or having an argument on the court. I kinda heard about the story, but I'm very ignorant on the subject, so. Michael, educate me. Here's the thing. The Lakers, we've been having all sorts of problems this whole year. I ain't going to be, ain't going to, we had Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard fighting each other. Shut up, Sam. Before, we're better than the Pelicans, so shut up. Sam just said Lakers suck, which yeah, I really, I look, I agree with, but go ahead, Michael. Adam. LeBron has more talent in his pinky than you have in your whole body. So shut up. Well, duh. <laughs> I mean, you have to like um, you have to like have to flex of some sort, of like from LeBron. I mean, LeBron should have more talent as a pinky. Oh, than and me. I hate LeBron, and that's the funny part. You can even ask my father. I should. I, I sh- he should have more talent as a pinky than me. If he didn't, then that would be a problem. Go Point ahead, Michael. Is- LeBron James wants wants to do two things. Win a championship and play with the Suns in the league. That's his only two things he wants to do in his career. Sam, you're just mad that Bronny James is better than you in basketball, so shut up. Two. <laughs> uh, I think Avery Bradley, who is basically a nobody, Avery Bradley is a nobody in the league. He's a nobody. He's a journeyman. Chris, what do you think about Avery Bradley? You think he's a good player at all? No, not really. I mean, he kind of make the Warriors roster, and he starts for the Lakers. I mean, that that's, that's all a bad. To say. Avery Bradley was <laughs> it's not even that good. He only had one one a couple good seasons. How you win a championship with the Lakers, and then you get cut the next year with the Warriors? How th- that means you gotta suck that bad. That's like me and Chris winning a championship with the Lakers when we're starting, by the way, and we get cut by the Knicks the same season. The the same year later. Sam, stop defending his act his ignorance. Stop defending his terrible player. Just because Sam was Sam saying say he says he's defending everybody saying he was decent in the league and he's old he's- now. I mean Michael, do you have a response? First of all, Father Time in the NBA does catch up with you, but I think, in my opinion, Avery Bradley is the worst version of Tony Allen. There you go. Dude, Bradley was three. never close to Tony Allen. Let's relax. I yeah, said he's yeah, the he worst wasn't even ver- close. He wasn't even close, Michael. Let's calm down. I said he's the worst version of Tony Allen. 
I said worse. Tony Allen was a great player. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Chris gonna be a little biased because he he played for the Grizzlies all those years. No bias. Chris is low key greatness. <laughs> Adam, what did I tell you? You'll talk to me about basketball. And I'll talk to you about baseball. Remember? I remember. So shut up. <laughs> uh, but all seriousness, LeBron James wants to win. LeBron James probably has the power to trade Avery Bradley. We all know that. LeBron James is a puppet, puppet streer. Dude, they're going to get jack crap for Avery Bradley. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> Sam just said, I wish y'all could hear the blessing that you all are saying. You better not be slandering <laughs> Tony Allen with that comment because Tony Allen was much better than Bradley. Avery I Bradley is a, is a bum. First of all, stop. That's a little much. That's a little yeah. much. That's a little much. He's not even that good. His average in his career was for points was four points a game. That's As no a starter. That can't be. That's no that can't be accurate. accurate. That, that is can't nowhere be accurate. near accurate. And you're a starter. That is bad. You're that is nowhere near accurate. accurate. You're throwing out numbers. He was probably he was double digits for sure. He was never double digits. The Yo, fuck? There's no oh, way. Okay. okay. <laughs> now this is start. Let me check. Here. I'm on Sam's side. Now, dude, Avery Bradley's a Hall of Famer. Game. He's a Hall of Famer. Avery Bradley played for the Lakers, average 8.6. Now for a team with the Houston, he's 5.6. Yeah, yeah. He's a That's old, double for your four point two NBA you champion. I mean, for I think now, Hall of Famer's a little strong, but. You say Avery Bradley's going to be a Hall of Famer? I was trolling because you were saying stupid stuff the other way. <laughs> you he averaged first. he averaged 16 points one season 15 15.2 13.9 yeah Michael 14. I think you're I think you're Avery Bradley Hayes a little uh um, well, I guess double strong digits. here like he is I just don't think he's a bucket I don't think he's not that good a- if, he's, I, he's I, Avery right. Bradley he's not He's not a game. He's not a game changer for the Lakers. He probably won't play in the playoffs. I guess. Nah, yeah, yeah, he's obviously got that talent. He's obviously like gotten up there in age, but that's him. Like, Bradley is still young. What the fuck are you talking about? He's thirty one. Yeah, that's he a, a yeah, prime he's, he's, in his career. That's a prime for an NBA player. And even at this point, he, I was he still say, quick, I was still say like, like um, than you're, I think he could be prime, a solid role player. NBA on the bench. prime is 30, 31. That's your prime. Not for him. Not for him. His hit, he was different. The lot of NBA players' peaks are different. There's a lot of role players like him. Uh, I mean, he was more than role player times, but like a lot of role players like him don't. They don't have super long careers or long peaks. All right. First of all, you know who can all agree is a good player that's better than that better Go than ahead. Tony Allen and and your boy Avery Bradley, Alex Caruso. Give that motherfucker respect on his name. <laughs> Next you know question. What, boys? Next question. I'm yeah. going to change my pick for the NBA Finals. You know who I'm going to change, who I'm going to put? We'll move it on, Sam. <laughs> Just go on, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say I'm gonna say DeMar DeRozan is going to be in an all-NBA first team this year. The way how he's been playing now, he's going to be in yeah, an NBA all first have, team. Like, was a, yeah, he's more than all-NBA first team. Yeah, d- yeah, he, didn't he he's, have he's like gonna, um, two back to back monster game like the other day? I'm, no, I'm he had sure. two game he's winners insane. that hasn't been done. Back to back game winners, back to back nights that hasn't been done. Even um, Michael Jordan or Kobe yeah, I mean, haven't done. I that. could go on about DeRozan, how good he was. He, he, yeah, he's DeRozan. I think DeRozan was a great, great player in Toronto. He just had to deal with LeBron every year. That team with him and Lowry. They were the uh, underrated backcourt. They I'm were sorry. nasty. They're... They were nasty. It's just LeBron was different. Sam says he should be the MVP combo. I, mean, MVP. Is. I think he's I top think he's three. Been no been debate. Debate. Little, no debate. He's, strong, he, he's top three, hear. in my opinion. All right. He, I think the Rosen's going to. I think the Bulls played this great. They're winning the championship. I'm sorry, boys. They may win the championship. Chicago, they, they may be the odds on favorite. That would be that would be interesting. That would be interesting. I still and, don't know if I trust them late in games to make the big plays against the Nets. Yeah, guys, the yeah, it the would be. Yeah, but you have, but you got to worry about the Heat too. You got to worry about. No, Kyle I know. I'm, no, I know. 
Well, like, that, the, the Bulls could easily lose all the players. So but here's the it thing, all boys, depends that matchups. Whole, that whole Eastern Conference is strong now. You, you got the Bucks. You got the you got the Nets. The Heat. You got. I would, the, say, I would still say the Heat could win. You got the Heats. You got the Bulls. You got and you got. There's four. Yeah, five. You have five teams. You just gotta worry. Who's a fifth? Heat, Bucks, so Nets, Bulls. Nets, Bulls, Heat. I don't think we throw anybody else. Bucks and Nets are clear. Clear the Bucks and Nets are above. Yeah, I, yeah. I think. I think Bulls and Heat are. Up, up a little bit, slight step below. But you also got the Celtics. You can't count on Jason Tatum in the Celtics. No. I'm okay, uh, so I'm, okay I'm okay counting. I'm okay counting. I'm okay counting them out. I hate the Celtics. And my and my philosophy is I'll count them. They they, they have them. Jason Tatum. Who else? But here's say who else do I have? Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. That's it. Those two are like probably going to be the best duo in the next 15 years. They may not be playing together much longer. Yeah, I say they may not be playing together. I don't much think that's a hot take saying that anymore either. I think they're a good team, though, but I'm saying you guys. They're a good team, but, like, they're not even close to, like, the Bucks or the Nets. Did this fool just forgot what I just thought? The Heat? <laughs> no, he, he think he doesn't think the Heat can win the East, which I think is a valid opinion. I personally still give them an outside chance, though. The Heat, you have Jimmy they have Butler, an outside Kyle Lowry, chance. They have Ryan, an outside chance, and you have Victor Oladipo on your team. That's a hell of a team. They have an outside chance, but I think uh, the Bucks, Nets, and Bucks are all more likely. First of all, I don't think if the here's the thing: if the Nets, I I I think the Nets can do it, but if how they can gel with Kyrie back in the mix. That's the only yeah, thing. That, that, that's the only thing that, as a Nets fan that's really concerning me is that is that how you gonna Kyrie, Kyrie really back like being like a part-time player and stuff. Like, yeah. So yeah, how you I mean, we'll, we'll definitely get more in depth into that I next time we talk. I mean, now let's talk, basketball, about the Western but, let's talk about the Western Conference. Who do you think is the eyes on favorite? Warriors. Warriors. By the way, I got I got to get, get on y'all. I got to get on y'all. I got to get on y'all. Adam, I was wondering when this would come. Yeah, I got to get on top go. I, I, I remember when we did our NBA season predictions, I said Warriors would be the number one seed. Y'all laughed at me. Y'all laughed me off the podcast. We have to let this fool so, talk. I was wondering so when he'd bring us up. I got to ask you guys. I got to ask all you guys. Who's laughing Adam? now? Adam, we did and you did laugh, <laughs> Sam. Don't deny. I can bring up the audio on the podcast <laughs> right now. I could. Sam says I had the. Sam, we three. know you lied. We are. Uh, we, we, we laughed. Adam, we laughed. Adam, we. Chris, we were, did you laugh? Did you oh, laugh? I laughed. I laughed. We all laughed. I was we wrong. All laughed. Okay. We, we laughed at you, wrong. OD hard, brother. We, Adam, and, and Michael, were you wrong? I guess we were wrong. We were wrong. Adam, for a guy that knows nothing about basketball on this podcast. He was right. He hold was on, right. Hold on. Hold on. I, got, I got to do something. I got to do something. Hold on for a second. We're not. We don't need to repeat that. <laughs> we are not going to repeat this. You, you have, have this no proof already. we ever said it. No, no, no. We're podcast. not going to. No, we're not going to pee. I just want to like, um, I just want to do something. Hold on. If you want to dance, Little Adam, premature. I don't want to see your ass the the season. Oh dear God! Yeah. What's he? What's this boy doing? Dude, I hope the boys lose first round somehow. Now, no, I yeah. pray to God. No, no I no hope they lose. Laps. Eight seeded Lakers. Let's go. JK. Now I boys hope y'all lose. Now I pray to God. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. guys. I think I had a few victory laps right there. Hold hey, on Chris, you think what I'm thinking? Should we pray? It's still Sunday, right? Should we pray? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly love watching the Warriors play. I'm not even gonna cap. Hey, Adam. I hope just for that. I pray to God that the Warriors don't make it out the first round. I pray to God. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Adam, there's a difference. Yes, he might. it's a thing. Playoff LeBron ain't no joke, boys. Playoff LeBron ain't no motherfucker. Can we stop Ever. with can, can we stop with all that with the love affair with the Lakers, honestly? <laughs> can we stop it? I, I don't think it's like, oh, I'm out. They're oh, gonna, they're, oh, they're going to you know, make a run as, like, the seven seed. They're going to make a run at AC. Can we stop with that, that stuff now? The Why are you hate They're out. not I'm a out. good team, and they're not going to be competing for – um, and uh, they're not going to be uh, coming out Here's of the Here's the thing. 
LeBron can put and this this difference. Do you guys not care where LeBron goes in the regular season? He doesn't have to be the first seed to win a championship. Then why didn't he win the championship seven, last though. year? Anthony Davis was I, fucking hurt. Yeah, Anthony Davis was hurt. Yeah. What's the what, excuse where's he this right year? now? What's where's the excuse Davis this right now? year? How many right more now? excuses are we going to make for the Lakers? That, Yo, I think we got to accept hurt. the fact that they're not that good. They're Anthony not Davis is that hurt right good. Now. A lot of teams have missed players for multiple weeks. That, that's not a valid excuse for why they First suck. Of but all, that's a, I haven't played one game with Ari ever yet. Look where they are. First of all, because you have fucking James Harden, who's a fucking monster. And you guys have LeBron and uh, Harden. And you get LeBron, not, not Harden. Um, Westbrook. Davis, I love Westbrook, I mean. but watching him off the wall is the most disgusting thing in NBA history. Exactly, now. exactly. And that's why I was against that trade. And I thought, I, well, was I guess if I wasn't really that hype. The Harden and Westbrook are the same type of player. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. wait. Did, you, did you just compare Harden to um, Westbrook? They play the exact same. They play with all heart. If you didn't they notice... Like- they play similar, but yeah, I think they're, they're they, the they same play exact similar. Players. Hard is on another level than Russell Westbrook. Hard is on another Westbrook. level than Russell Westbrook. I'm sorry. Hard, here's the thing. Harden, it, you can't win a championship with James Harden. I'm sorry. You just can't. You, you can't. <laughs> Sam says I'm done with this hot take. <laughs> you can't win a championship with James Harden. Like the same thing. You can't win a West, championship with Westbrook. You can't win a championship with Harden. Wait, wait, if, wait. So, so you're saying the Nets can't win a championship with uh, James Harden? Yeah, he can't. With, with, you know, you're saying he can't win a championship as best player? Oh, you're saying he can't win As a best cha- player. As, like, his first option, you, you can't. Okay, I, I could kind of understand where you're, say- where you're saying that. I could kind of understand where when you're he, when where, he was with, where you're with, saying with that. Can... Let me explain. When he was with Houston, when he was the first option. This hot take is going around in circles. I just noticed. Yeah, it is. It, it, go, ahead, Michael, you... go ahead, Michael. I'm just saying, you Harden can't be a first option with championship. They gotta go to KD. I got KD you, I mean, has I... to be the first. I see only they way they win the championship. Though. They will. If they win the championship, KD has to be the. Has to he be the will first be the first option. option though. He, he will be, be the first. option. I don't think that's an issue. But. <sighs> But here's the thing: when they had CP3, CP3 was better, was Harden, was Harden's only t- because he had CP3 doing the majority of the work. But we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, he almost won back in like and uh, 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 twice. You could argue that he should have won. Like um, that that series was a very close series. But first Sam of all, just says was, he's done. Was. <laughs> Sam, go fuck yourself in a giant ditch. <laughs> All right, Michael, is that the end of your hot take? I'm finally done with you motherfuckers. I need a vacation. Okay, okay. Let's go on to the judging section. Who wants to go first? I don't remember. I'm sick, and I'm sick in bed. All right. You know, with that, that in way. mind, I'll pass this off to Chris. Chris, you've done a I'll... great job leading. Uh, okay. By... All right. Um, a, lo- a lot of what he said was very off base, I'll <laughs> say. Um, I don't know why we talked about Avery Bradley so long. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but there was one thing that he said that I loved, and it's enough for me to vote yes. DeMar DeRozan has a legitimate MVP case. He is my second top candidate right now behind Steph Curry. Thank you. Thank if you, the Chris. Bulls finish at top to East, he should get some votes. So I'll give Mike a yes. All right. We already got <laughs> but we, we got Sam Jordan. He votes no. No. So – I don't know where to break this down. I don't know where to break this down. Michael, I mean, you are all over the place. There's supposed to be a hot take about LeBron. Now we're talking about the Lakers. Now we're talking about the Nets. And this all turned into an NBA set, a whole, like, basketball talk saga. But you know LeBron what? is the NBA. But You know what? You NBA. know what? I had so much fun. Like, this was – we were good. I had so much – this is very convenient because – I want to talk basketball this thing, but we got so much football to discuss, so I technically cut from the script. But this was great to get – this was a great segment to get our basketball talk in. So, Michael, for that, I'm going to approve it. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Sam says, at my expense, you had fun. <laughs> All right, we got – Um, so far, it's two to one. We need – Actually, it's one three to one vote. because Michael it's my vote. One more vote for an approval. Um. Marcellus, I mean, who wants to go next? Alex or Marcellus? All right, Alex, you can go. 
I approve. He approves. Marcellus, let's, let's, dick is unanimous. Marcellus, go ahead. I approve. All right, so and it's I four approve. to one. So five to four one. to one. Actually, okay. five to I, one. I, did, I didn't think it was a good enough hot take to be a four to one. I, I feel bad about my yes vote now, but I already voted, Shut up, so. Chris. You voted. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Sam was the only one to vote. Up. Yeah, I hate judging like that, though, Chris. I'm just kidding. It's like it's like it's like saying like Chris um, always. It's like saying it's like, like, it's like saying it's like saying Derek Jeter shouldn't be unanimous because he's like not a you. It's like saying, "Oh, I'm not gonna vote with Derek Jeter because I don't want him to be unanimous." Like it's kind of like similar that's, logic. Yeah. No, that's fair. So can I say something about who, Jose Altuve real quick before? No. I, come on. We've read about Jose Altuve end up on this podcast come on, for one year. Please. <laughs> why? Why did something happen with Jose Altuve? No. no, I just want to say fuck him. That's all. No, you can't. Respect. I'm sorry. Fuck. Can I say fuck the Astros? If you want. Fuck the Astros. Fuck the Astros. For life. Okay. But, Michael, your hot take is for approved. Derek Jeter for your... life. Adam, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he was joking, I kind of deserved it. Joke. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. Why Even as just... a joke, it was such a bad joke that I had to do that. <laughs> you know I love Derek Jeter. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Next time, don't make bad jokes. <laughs> Fuck Eli Manning for life. Phew. <laughs> Adam, you can't get mad for me for saying my opinion. Alex, remove mess call host and put him in the waiting room just for the hell of it. You owe me one, Alex. All the times you put me in the waiting room. Don't you Alex. dare, Alex. Alex, Don't remember, who was your friend the longest? Don't you Just dare. Remember all the things I did for you. Remember those. Come on, Alex. Be fair. Be 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 black. Host has stopped my video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, guys, but do you know what um the big, like, um even though we talked so much about Antonio Brown during that Bucks jets game, it really <laughs> stole the headlines away from the fact that the Jets blew a very, very, very winnable game. That was the game that the Jets should have won. The Jets should have won. They were leading most of the game, and then... I got to get on, like, um, whoever it was that um, did this play call. It was fourth and two. They were in, like, they were in the red zone. They were, like, um, I forget where they were, but they were up by four. They were a field goal away from, like, um, from bringing up a touchdown. And Ross Allen decides to go for it. Now, I don't necessarily have a problem with them, Ross Allen decided to go for it because you have a chance to, you know, um, put the game away. A touchdown there. Puts the game away and seals the win, or even just get two guys on first time. So I have a problem with Ross Allen going for it. But you know what they the um they the play call they chose? A quarterback sneak. A quarterback sneak like from two yards away. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys. That was honestly genuinely one of the worst play calls I've seen in a long time. Cause because the the Bucks they obviously stopped them. Um, um, because it was two yards, like you, like how often do we see a quarterback sneak go for two yards when you need two yards? We hardly ever see that. That's number one. Number two, you have a rookie quarterback, Zach Wilson, who who um is is not known for um his is like um physical status. He's not known for his like physical prowess. So you really think you get two yards there? That's another one. And most of all, you're giving the ball back to the greatest quarterback to ever do it in um race. So. And then obviously Tom Brady he does what he always does. He takes the Bucks down the field and the Bucks win the game. So that's my big takeaway. Aside from that, on your brother, that's my big takeaway, guys. The Jets lost the game that they should have won. The Jets should have won that game. Marcellus, Michael, you're the Jet resident Jets fan. I don't know if you guys disagree. I agree with you, man. The only thing I disagree on is. Zach Wilson, I know Adam, you and Marcellus hate Zach. I think Marcellus is not a big fan of Zach Wilson. I know Marcellus is a fan. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I, 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 I love them coming out of college. I, I, I don't like Zach Wilson. 
I know Marcellus hates. Marcellus, oh, Marcellus we, all, we all know, we all know that um, you have a post of Zach Wilson up um, on your wall and you're throwing dots. Uh, we all know that, but go ahead. <laughs> I don't like him one bit. But, but here's, here's the thing. I, think, I, I don't know if you guys disagree. I think Zach Wilson played, has played a pretty good past couple of games. He, I, th- I think Zach Wilson has generally good, lo- looked good like on uh, these past couple of games. Like what we said before about his issues, like um, I feel like um, I feel always trying for the big play. I, I we haven't seen him. Before. He's been simplifying things. He hasn't he hasn't really turned the ball over that much. You know he's he's like he's just books on like I'm doing like um the easy plays, the simple plays that we always say he struggled with. He's he's like he's like slowed things down a little, and I've got to give Zach Wilson credit for that. He mean. He had a he honestly like a played great um I guess Trevor Lawrence and um but well, well he didn't play great but he play, he played nice and um I guess the, in the win in Jacksonville and he played good enough for, for them to win this game. He played good enough to win. This loss was not on Zach Wilson. That loss was not on Zach Wilson. I agree. I don't think it's on Zach either. <laughs> That's just that was a very winnable game. I don't know how they let the lead slip like that. That's a game that should have won, like you said. But you definitely can't give Tom Brady the ball with that many seconds. It's been proven it's known. The amount of games that we play against him, he just owns us right now. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing. I would have had a completely different take if, like, let's say they, like, um, let's say they tried, like, um, a, a pass, like, they tried, like, like a, they, let's say they try to like a passing play, it goes incomplete, and um, Tom Brady goes to score such a. I would I would be mad because I'd be like, okay, you went for it, you had the, you came with them your best play call, it didn't work, and Tom Brady like um, and then Tom Brady did what he did. So I would be like, okay. Uh, so I if if, the, if that's how to get it, I'd be like, okay. The main issue was the play call. That was just like. There was no, there is no world where that play call would have worked. A quarterback sneak, like there's no world where that play call would have worked. Sam says, "I don't think it's on Zach, but they need him to get better physically." There's a thing, like there's thing that's easier asked for than done. It's like, it's like asking like Steph Curry, like asking Zach Wilson to become more physical is like asking Steph Curry to, you know become like LeBron James physically. Like it's just not gonna it's just not gonna happen. It could be. Who knows? <laughs> like you want to ask him to like to put up a little bit more bulk, like that's one thing, but 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 like like the like if Zach Wilson does become the quarterback he's capable of becoming, it's gonna be it's gonna be um because of his like passing ability, not his like physical prowess. I mean, Michael, go ahead. If Zach Wilson, that the just pick, here's the thing about just players that they draft. We either get good players or they suck. No, well, I agree with myself on that. That's just drafting in general, but go ahead. We either get them past their prime or we get them in their prime. For example, when we got probably one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history in Brett Favre. Well, Zach is good. Don't get me wrong, Sam. I mean, I mean, he hasn't proven to be good yet. I do think it. I, 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 I all of Zach Wilson right now is like he's their typical rookie quarterback. Like he's just he's just an unknown. Like he, he he's he's just like um like Eli Manning was after his first year. He's just like um he's like a lot like that's the thing. And Trevor Lawrence is the exact same situation. We at this point don't know what Trevor Lawrence is gonna become. Eli like Manning is trash. Was, <laughs> he's gonna be in a Hall of Fame, but that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. If they but, vote for him, if people vote but, but, for but, him, but like he's in the same situation as Trevor Lawrence. He's in the same with Shay, which with uh, Justin Fields and Trey Lance. Like all four of those guys, they're unknowns at this point. We don't know who who of them is gonna be good or if any of them are gonna be good. So. At this point, it's just, it's just wait and see with them. All right, but I mean, do you guys have any like other Jets thoughts? 
Mike is mad that the Cowboys aren't winning the Super Bowl. That, that that's a great um thing because we also gotta talk about that um the Cowboys um um Cardinals game. No, Cardinals we beat Cardinals beat the Cowboys. No, By the don't. way, guys, I don't know if you group me. I don't know if you group me. I think I think that is a battle of the two most overrated teams in the NFC. What? I think that was about the two most overrated teams in the NFL. That, that was a very good take, Adam. Are you like, both, of those, me? both of those teams that are was a, good, a but very good take. I didn't even thought about that. I agree. I think they're the two <laughs> most overrated teams in the NFC. Like the Cardinals, we all thought all the time they were at the top of the, the NFC. They were the best the teams in the NFC. If you and would then, have and said, then we, we saw that. Like with no, the Cardinals, no, 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 I don't. No, no, I mean, no, Kyle, no, Murray, Kyle no, Murray is obviously no, good, no, but no, I don't know if I could trust him in the playoffs. I, I definitely don't trust Cliff Kingsbury. I, I've got like I don't know about you guys. Like, I think Cliff Kingsbury is a bit sus. I think he's a, a bit lot of sus. people feel that way about yeah. him. I think he's a good coach, but a lot of people still. I mean, think he's that. good, but is he like a um, lot of people? Think is he a guy that could be like a Super Bowl winning coach? Yeah, it's well, well, he, well, he can, but I don't know if he's going to. That, that's yeah. the thing. That's no, the thing. A lot of people feel that way, actually. And the same, and the same, and the same thing with um the Cowboys. Like I, I think the cow. It's the that the Cowboys. They're like. They're like a very complete team. I mean, they, they, because they can beat you in so many different ways. I mean, their defense has gotten like better. Like, um, I mean, what can we? I mean, Mika Parsons. I mean, what can we say about him? The guy's been like a monster. So, I mean, he's just been an absolute stud. I mean, Dak Prescott's obviously been Dak Prescott. I mean, I mean, and the and the offense has been clicking. The, the one problem I see with Dallas is that um. They're obviously good. I just don't know if they're, they're they're a really good team. I just don't know if they're like among the elite of the elite. I don't know if they're like um as good as you know um Green Bay or Tampa Bay or um I know San's good get me in here, but the Rams. I I feel like those three teams are the best teams in the AFC. And then NFC. I'm sorry, NFC. San's at best. Cowboys and not trust the three in matters. Thank you for taking the words out of my mouth, oh, Sam. Thank you for taking the words out of my mouth. But, Michael, you're the cowboy, Sam. Now you want to respond to me? Adam, it's still technically Sunday, and I'm a Christian, <laughs> and I believe in second chances. But Saying that Cowboys are the most overrated team. If you could have said the Chicago Bears of any team, you could have said the Chicago what? Bears. You could have said the Chicago Bears are overrated. What are you talking about, Mike? Let's get back <laughs> the, to the Cowboys. I'm just trying to explain my. Oh, listen, little, listen, little Kansas boy. You just it's just a bad team. take. I just think the Cowboys are a good team. Do they? Do we have a chance to make it. We're in the playoffs. Any team in the playoffs has a chance to win the Super Bowl. Just saying, little boy, little man Smurf. Nah, so do I think the Cowboys have a chance? Yes. Does Arizona have a chance? Yes. They beat us at home, which is hard to do in Dallas. Has Chris's team, did the Kansas City Chiefs ever win in Dallas? Never. Did the the Ravens play like shit? Yes. So the point is, we're probably the odds on favorite. We're prop so is. We still have the best records, one of the best records in the whole NFC. That's what do you mean on by God. Odds on favorite. We are. We had the odds on favorite to win. We'll see. What? The Super Bowl? We may have a chance. Every, Chris, you know as much as I do, any team that's in the playoffs. Oh, I know. Be, Having a chance is different than calling yourself the favorite, though. We are. Like that's a massive, <laughs> massive. It's the same, same thing. You I, no, just said that though. Kansas City is – I don't know what they've been on lately. What do you mean lately? Dude, let me ask you a question. Man. It sucks, but we lost the game. Relax. Yo, wait. What's y'all record this year? Can you tell me? I believe we have the same record. I guess. I think that's where you're going after. Okay. We're, we're both 11 and 5. Did you think you had a yeah, better record both- than us? You thought you had a better record than us. You were coming to talk smack. Today, we, had, we were going <laughs> to have a better record. No, you weren't, Michael. First of all, Adam's going to make a run. 
No. First of all, we all know the Giants ain't gonna do shit. That's all we oh, know. Yeah, we gotta- well, well, yeah, yeah, I think that's <laughs> bragging rights. Wow, you're, he's he's you know what Michael saying? You're like he's like wow, like the Cowboys are better than the Giants. Like they got the, the Eagles, by the way, too. But we all know the Eagles ain't gonna do shit. I'm sorry, Alex. The Eagles ain't gonna. I do say, shit, but- e- Alex, you want to break the news to us with uh, the Cowboys win over the Vikings? You want to break the news to us, Alex? Uh, with Green Bay getting the victory over Minnesota. The Philadelphia Eagles are in the playoffs, baby. That's not I good, should Adam. Be clapping. I you should be, be clapping. clapping. I should be. I just clapped because the Eagles got in the playoffs. Oh, my God. Adam, Football take guys, off your Giants jersey. I apologize. I feel ashamed. Adam, take that Giants jersey off immediately. You are a fake Giants fan. Take it off. What Eli did Manning I just do? Probably going to what run did your I door just kill do? <laughs> Yo, Chris, you think you think the football guys are going to punish Adam now for being a, for for clapping for the Eagles? I mean, if they are going to punish me, I mean, I mean, I think these past four five seasons have been punished man enough. <laughs> do you want you want to have a couple more punishments? You just rooted for the Eagles. I now, I think, now, here's the thing, guys. You know, Alex ain't going to let us live this one down either. Because you know how happy he's going to be, Chris? And that's the thing. Coming no, into the year, when Alex is all to the, the playoffs, Eagles were like going to be like a rebuilding off. team. That's why I thought it going to be the you, the Eagles are going to be a rebuilding team. And look at them. They're in the playoffs now. So, you really got to give credit to a lot of guys in the Eagles. You got to give credit to, you know, um... Uh, obviously, like, I got, I'm gonna say one thing about the Eagles. And I'm gonna Smith. I ever said this. Jalen Hurts is the future of the NFL, and it kills me to say that. Oh God, he take a shower. I feel so dirty. Oh, go man. ahead, buddy. Deficit. Mike, guess guess who you might be seeing uh, on Saturday? Ooh, Minch, Jesus Christ. Minch- Minchu Mania. You like Garner Minshew? Let's go. Garner Minshew? Gar- it's Garner Minshew season. Because they are going to let Jaden rest. They're going to rest. Which, duh. Duh. That's not a surprise. No. It's Yo, you know what basketball game we got to go see? I don't know if I love it. LeBron, Bronny James versus Juwan DJ Wagner Jr. It's a fun. I'll be, I'll be me and that Alex, be... we're going to that game. Me and Alex may go to that game. That would That's... be fun. We should all go. To our viewers, to get your game on crew, you think me, Alex, maybe Chris would take a flight, plane flight if he's not too cheap? I'm not um, sure but... flying out for that game to play, but... Maybe if Sam could, not, could start talking like a normal boy instead of using his voice box, then maybe we could bring him. All right, but speaking of speaking of Sam, I really wish his mic was working right now because, guys, I think it's interrogation time for um our friend Sam here. And if he has the his balls, balls were Ravens. They've lost like what five straight now. What's going on? Are they Sam, they're not you said, you, you, but what's going on? What's hold wrong up, Adam, here? Hold up, hold up, Adam. I ain't done. I ain't done. This was the dude that says, and I quote, the Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl this year. He, uh, he also quote. said that the – wait, Chris, I also believe – Um, did he not say the Ravens are better than the Chiefs? That he did say that. We're going to rip you to shreds, my boy, Sam. We Sam, you do you to... have a statement? Do you have a is statement? Can't even He's end prepared. the playoffs. I blumped, I – I ain't done. I ain't done. I'm gonna give this boy hell. Is your team even in the playoffs? He <laughs> said, "Listen, I can explain." <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, I can't. I mean, the injury factor is legit. They they he left. <laughs> he left. <laughs> this jackass just left. Oh, that is dead. a cruel cool strategy. <laughs> I wonder if he's trying to get his mic fixed. Come back in, talk, and just rant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wait, wait, wait. So I on a real so note, Adam, like the injuries, the I, I'm, I want to try. There, he comes back, but like, I mean, the energy, the injuries are just brutal for them. True, true. Like, and like you always say, next man up in the NFL, but like at, 
at some extent when you're missing. I don't even know how many guys I have now, but I I, I toss every, pretty much all those studs basically missed out. I mean, it's a valid. You know, I mean, losing five games, you still got to find ways to win some of these games. And they've been in spots to win multiple of these games still. But like, and so, like, you got to find ways to win some of them. But like, he says, I have no comment on the Ravens. All right. We'll, we'll ask your more in depth take next time when you get your mic fixed. He has to talk. He like, can't they lost, talk because the mic doesn't work. They lost three of these games by one point. I truly yeah, am disappointed in them, though. That's what he said. Hey, Sam, put your camera on so we can see your face reaction. <laughs> they should have been a lot better. So that means that the big Sam was wrong? That the Sam meant he was wrong for his prediction? No, he said no. Hold up. Let me piss him off. Does LeVar Jackson still suck? Right, let's hear his response to this. I can't wait. Mar Jackson, Jackson still up. Mike. Tyler Huntley, QB1. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Huntley, though. It was fun. I actually enjoyed watching him play. So Why hey, are you talking? This, will give, this will give him. This will give him. Is Mahomes better than Jackson? Yeah, I was say, did, did he not I'll say, like, um, Lamar is better than Jackson? <laughs> the Cowboys <laughs> suck. <laughs> Now he's trying to beat around the question, Sam. I'm just tra- I'm not trying to talk smack to Sam. So when the Chiefs lose, if the Chiefs win, the Chiefs lose. I'm not super confident. If the Chiefs come on, lose, come on, Chris. So come Sam doesn't come at me hard. Hell. No, Chris, like he'll talk he smack has- and it'll be good banter. But I don't I don't want all hey, the smoke. Chris, I'm just trying to enjoy Chris, my season. Chris, he gave you hell. Come on, Chris. Chris, you should be the most person. No, to you too. I mean, we had the the one episode, but it was never that intense. You guys just hyped it up so much. I, we because that game was epic, but I was like, it's wait till the playoffs, but that's not going to happen this year. Oh, that wasn't meant to be a shot, Chris. You can talk trash if you want, Chris. You have. Oh, no, I mean, okay. So, like, Lamar Jackson disappointed me this season, but like, he had like his game against Kansas City was unreal, unreal. But like, against the Browns when they won, he was atrocious. It was prob- probably the worst game of his career. So, like, he's got to be more consistent for them. But, I mean, he had to do everything, basically. Like, Mark Andrews and Hall- – Mark Andrews stud. Second best. Chris, tight end, you gave best me more crap. Hold up, Chris. You gave you gave me, like, a, a, a yin-yang. Why do I – I don't need to go at the Ravens that much. They missed a plot. They know they have to improve. <laughs> you but give you, Chris a oh, oh, slap the like Cowboys. Dude, you're going you to lose a playoff game. You're going to lose a playoff game. You're going to lose a playoff game. to hell in a cell match. Dude, you're oh, going to you, you're gonna host the Cardinals again in a playoff game in two weeks, and you think you can win that after what just happened, bro? <laughs> yeah, I got some bad news bro. for you, Mike. Some bad news, bro. <laughs> the Cardinals are coming back in two weeks, bro, and that's not going to be a fun one. We we gonna win, baby. I, you know paid. I support the Cowboys, bro. I, I dude, I love Dak. I love the players, but like, I got bad news for you in two weeks. I'm not high on the Cardinals, but I'm not sure the Cowboys want to play off. I think we got faith. I think this was a wake up call. This was a wake up call because I'm gonna buy my tickets to that Cowboy game against the Cardinals, baby. Because we are That's gonna true. win. We there's a thing we. Yeah. Everything is bigger in Texas. I'm not Texas, and I don't know. You're going to that is, Cowboys game? You're going to Dallas? I'm going to Dallas. You guys will see me in Dallas. Dude, I might go to the Chiefs playoff game, too. Oh and, ch- and, and paint my stomach blue and silver. <laughs> Dude, being at the stadium for a playoff loss, I can't even imagine. I may, yeah, I may, I may be hurt. And I may, and I'm really sick, and I'm, and Chris. I may for the Cowboys Eagle game. I may get killed because I'm going to the Cowboys Eagle game. I may get killed. That's this be interesting. I'm gonna wear all my cowboy gear, and I wanted Alex to go with me, but he said he didn't want to go. Pity. <laughs> yeah, Adam. You think Alex? Adam, you don't think Alex? Do? Sam, we don't hate because your Ravens suck. So shut it. <laughs> Mason, All right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for our episode, for our podcast, we want to say we're sorry for this crazy banter we did today. Yeah, this is like one of the craziest episodes we've had in a while, I think. We needed a crazy episode. We needed we one, it. though. We needed one, so, so I'm happy. Uh, before right, we get to our bets, one. one very quick giant story here. Did you no, guys hear this no. report from Adam Schefter? Yeah. yeah Apparently, Josh, the Josh Giants the plan on bringing back um, Daniel Jones and hey, Co- uh, and Joe Judge. So it, it, I, I said before, I mean, I, I've said the take in the past. I don't necessarily have a problem with Joe Judge coming back. Like, if he is back this year, I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get mad. My big concern is what they do at general manager. That that's the that's my big concern of what they do at general manager. I, and, I and agree with that. Thing, it, it the only concern I have with them bring back Joe with them bring back Joe, Joe Judge is is that gonna potentially turn away some GM candidates? That's our concern. Because if the Giants, let's say you go out there and they hire a really really good GM. And they and that GM is 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 like gonna work with Joe Judge, uh, uh, oh Judge, and I won't have a problem with that. I won't I won't have a problem with it. But if they're gonna like um limit their candidates and they're gonna do like and this is my doomsday scenario, they promote in house and they uh, and they um like they promote Evan Abrams or they promote in house. I'm gonna be mad because. They need an outside voice. That's what the Giants do now. They need someone outside the organization the that, can the look, that can look that can look um at this organization at Asian objectively and like um get them in the right direction. They need a complete overall. Like they need someone who's gonna come in and you know <laughs> shake them things up. They need to come in and someone who's gonna shake things up. Like they cannot go in house again. They need to get someone like outside the organization. So I, agree. I think that's a big takeaway for the support. Like. Yeah. If like if they if they do get that guy, then you know what? I won't be mad with Joe Judge coming back. I won't be mad. But if if they don't, then yeah, I'm gonna be like, um, I'm not gonna be happy. Yeah. Yeah, but like the, you you kind of hit it. Uh, but I feel like, assuming, do you think they do move on from Gettleman? Oh, they they're, they they're gonna. They, move I mean, on like they have to, but like I, they I if they like... don't move on from Gettleman, I'm gonna. I will say this though. I'll just want a few hard. If they promote from within, if that's yeah. a good thing to do, if they promote with the from within, I'd almost rather keep Gettleman at that point. I'd yeah. almost just rather keep Gettleman because it'll be interesting with the new hire either way. Cause like because a lot of times with new hires, they want their own coach and they want their own quarterback anyway. Exactly, so exactly. Joe Judge and Daniel Jones won't really have a chance to keep their jobs. Yeah. Unless they like super perform. I, mean, that's the only, I, I think, I think that's they're the only both way. in a, I think they're both in a spot where they deserve another year. Uh I don't know if deserves the right word, but I think it's yeah, I, I, might I, be the I, best I think, option. I think, yeah, I think I think that's the case too. Cause yeah. with Daniel Jones, like we said, before, I like Jones like, a lot. So I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I mean, you, I, I mean, I've gone like, I mean, my opinion of Daniel Jones has gone from like all over the place. Yeah. But, and you that's said he that's was one issue with quarterback. You said he was a very, very good quarterback. And now I'm saying he's I'm not like I, I'm, I'm, weeks, not paying, yeah. I'm I'm done like per, like giving my opinions on Daniel Jones for the foreseeable future. Like I'm Adam, you said he that. was a great quarterback. You say he was. Was, You said he was a great guy. You said he's a great quarterback. You said he's a great player. And then there we should be like. I can't stand him. And, and the Sam says, and the Giants aren't going to be good because then the GM won't change or will be at the same level. At Not worse. We Adam, need a New Yorker. We need a voice. Sam, I completely agree with what Adam, you're saying. We all know that me, the Jets, and the, and the, and the Giants are going to be playing golf 18 holes at, with Tiger Woods this season. During the exactly. Offseason. Exactly. And maybe and hopefully, hopefully that changes uh, sometime soon. Adam, I would say you should be the manager. You should probably do as general manager for the Giants. Honestly, it would. It would. I love it. It, would it, it. Honestly, it would be hard for me to. It would. Ha- it would hard for me to be worse. It would honestly be you hard for me to be that. worse. <laughs> it would hard for me to be. For Duke, me and Chris could probably coach the Duke. I'll probably coach the Duke. Chris will probably coach Kansas, and me and him would be in the final four. The final four. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Me and Chris coach. I, I know. Imagine me and Chris Coach against each other in the final four. I'll be like, "We meet again, my friend." <laughs> and me and Chris will be like this. Are we doing the podcast? That me, I'll tell Chris with the camera saying, "Looking." No, what time we doing the show tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Dude, I wish. All <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> you know what it's time for? Yeah, bad. For, for sex? Bets of the episode. So, Adam, so, it's so time for t- some pussy? No, you, you, Michael, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. That's of the week. That's of the episode. So we're recap to you. recap last episode. What? Three of us won and three of us lost. I won my bet. I had the Titans over the 49ers on my line. Me and Chris went head to head on that one. He took the 49ers. I took the Titans. Titans beat the 49ers. So I had... um. 14.20 points and that Chris's parlay off. was wrecked. That pissed me off. And as they you also Jimmy G the co- sucks. Well, that was one of the worst quarterback performances I've seen in a long time. Well, I was so I mean, mad. They choked G, so bad. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy my parlay G is anyway, just, like, you know. Oh my gosh. That yeah. was frustrating to watch. And the and you also had the Colts over the Cardinals, and the Colts beat the Cardinals. So that ultimately like, cost you your parlay. So. All right, Alex won his bet. He had the Colts over the Cardinals and the Pills over the Patriots. He would have added like over 30 points, but due to the penalty we gave him, he only adds 16.2. So, Alex, my friend, actions have consequences. That's all I'm going to so say. So, don't cheat. <laughs> Cheaters never win. All right, Marcel, you won your bet. You had the Warriors over the Grizzlies on my line. Warriors beat the Grizzlies. You add four points. Sam, and the, everyone else lost. Sam, you had the Ravens over the Bengals. Pelicans over the Magic. I believe I gave you that bet. So I gave you both your teams. I believe the Ravens beat the Bengals, but the Pelicans. No, I no, gave him a bet. I no, no, no. The Pelicans beat the Magic, but the Bengals beat the Ravens. So. That's that. And Michael, you lost uh, your bet. You had Xavier over uh, uh, on the my line. Heat over this is on my line. And Sons of Awards on my line. And Sons and the Wars beat the Sons at Christmas Day. So that wrecked that your wrecked my so, I am sorry, my friend. That beat the Sons that lost the Warriors. The wa- Sons that wrecked my parlay. That wrecked it. It wrecked it. You stupid Sons. Stupid Chris Paul. Relax, stupid Devin like. Booker. Ruined my damn parlay. Sorry. I'm just angry. Tired. Tired. Angry. All right, guys. But to damn, give you all idiot. an update. But to give you Adam? all an update on the standings. To give you all an update on the standings. Michael, you remain our ringleader. You remain in uh, first place. Um... 30 and 32 record, 379.06 points. Iron Man second place, 28 and 34 record, 313.86 points. All right, I'm Alex remains in third place, a uh, 26 and 36 record, 306.38 points. So, congratulations, Alex. You broke 300 points. Yay. Congratulations on bringing 300. Fuck Alex. He's a cheater. But here, here's where things get interesting. Marcel, my friend, you have jumped into fourth place, 34-28 record, 264.98 points, and our former ringleader, Chris, has fallen to fifth place, 27-35 record, 260.81 points. I must be in the club with Chris. Damn, Chris, you're not even in the club no more, man. You know, Chris has I'm, I'm fallen off. I'm at, Chris I'm at has, VIP with myself. Hold on, let me check here. Chris has. Hold on, well, that, that one. Chris, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's lost six straight bets and he's. um. It's not ideal. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He, in his last 11 bets, he's one for 11. He's bad. one for 11. So, Chris, my friend. We'll do That's you. some slump. It's That's what slump. you call a slump. But we're going to get out of it starting tomorrow night. Starting tomorrow night. I like it. I like it. You can't even get in. All right. So, and lastly, at the standings, as usual, last place, Sam, you remain last place. 28 34 record, 225.90 points. I don't have a question. Move your finger, Michael. Has Sam even won a bet? 
on this on this show yet? He's won. He, 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 he won. won the, he won the episode days. prior. He won the episode prior. That's a shocker. No offense. Sam. Hey, anyone on parlay a couple episodes ago? Sam. <laughs> Sam just said a few in the chat to Michael. <laughs> Sam, you know I love you, brother. Sam, you know it's all love. All right, guys. It was like. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go first here. And you know what? I've been thinking about my bet. I've been, like, thinking about it. I've, I've, you know, like, been deep in thought about my bet. And you know what, guys? I think it's time for a a little more head-to-head action. I was about to say. I was about to say. I think it's time for a little more head-to-head action. So I've been looking at this, and you know what? It's, ooh, um... Tempting for me to, re- to resist. I'm going to try to bait someone on this podcast to go ahead to re- and react. I think I know who he's going I for. I think he's going to take it. I'm taking the Brooklyn Nets over the Memphis Grizzlies on my Nets have lost the pass to uh, not on my line. The spread. I'm taking the spread. <laughs> and um, Nets have like uh, dropped the last two games. A bit, a bit of stuff. I, they're at home. I like the uh, spread against the Grizzlies. That's solid. But honestly, like... um. The Nets are cool, really bad, so I'll take my chance. I think they'll cover the spread. And you know what? I would do a same parlay, and I'm going to do the overnight game as well. I think Chris, it's going to be a very, very high-scoring game. I think it's going to be very high Chris, scoring. I need you in the club, baby. You got you you to go for it. It'll get to me later. All right. Anytime to thank. All, all right. Chris, you're uh, a fool if you pass that up. <laughs> who wants to go next? Who wants to go next? What? Sam, I'm reading Sam's bet. Sam, did you... Uh, yeah, yeah, he said he's, he's, he's taking the Pelicans over the Suns and Pistons over the Bucks in the parlay. It's risky. I mean, his new name is Risky Sam. Money. His new name is Risky Sam. All right, Alex, you want to go? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I am gonna do a parlay. Uh, Apollo, um, I'm going to go up against two of you guys. The first one is Grizzlies money line against the Brooklyn Nets. Oh. This <laughs> and oh. my second one is the Cleveland Cavs against the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, oh, that's, that, 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 that's a, like what, what day is that? Uh, the the first the first one is okay. Monday. So it's a back to back. The second one is Tuesday. Okay, so I like your thinking there, Alex. I like your thinking. Oh, all, all right, Chris, you're up. All right, um. I mean, the smart player would be not to bet the Grizzlies. Um, I mean, they're missing like seven or eight players, but it hasn't stopped them the past couple weeks. Um, Grizzlies money line over the Brooklyn Nets. They're not losing that game. They're, Let's go, Chris. They're, they're, they're Let's playing go, better Chris. basketball right Let's now. Let's go, champ. Let's they can't go, go John This Moran. is going to be fun. Desmond this Bain. Like, they can't, they can't defend them. Grizzlies money line over the Nets. Oh. Okay. Chris, Chris, you gotta go I get. Love you gotta it. go get I Alex. You gotta I'm not go going, get. Not going against both. Chris, that's why Alex I've lost ten. Cleveland. That's why I'm like one in ten in my last bets. <laughs> if I keep taking these dumb parlays against all you guys, and it costs me. I gotta take one <laughs> at a time and just start chipping away at this hole I'm in. He said, "Go against me." He said, "Sam says go against me." <laughs> Chris, Sam just said, "Go against." <laughs> go against me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sam, it's you a, can't really talk. You're in last place, all right? No, Sam said go against me. It's an easy bet. Oh, he said it's an easy bet. Like, good point, good point. No, I'll, I would pick Bucks over Pistons, but it's like a half a point, and <laughs> it would somehow lose. If I did. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Chris so will I'm going to stick with one, because the Grizzlies would beat the Nets, and then Pistons would beat the Bucks somehow. I know it. <laughs> yeah, Grizzlies right. money line, they're going to beat the Nets tomorrow. They're still not getting the credit they deserve. They're one of the best teams of basketball right now. Okay. Uh, all right, um, Marcellus, I think you're up. 
I take uh, Nets money line over the Grizzlies. Oh, oh that's cold. <laughs> A lot of a lot of bets are gonna be riding on this uh, Nets Grizzlies game. This that we yeah. might have to do like a, a we have to do a stream of that game. We may have to do a reaction to that game. That game is gonna oh, be that's huge. That's you guys have epic. to watch that game. We might have to watch that game together. That yeah. that game is gonna be huge for um, our betting. Be at work missing it, but I'm gonna jump off. But no one working. Send me the link, boys. I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> like it's gonna ditch work say sorry guys. Uh, Sam said he wants to add the next game to the parlay. Oh, oh, You're betting on the Grizzlies, oh, right, Sam? Oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, are you taking the Nets or uh the Grizzlies, Sam? Are you taking the Nets or the Grizzlies? Just make He's it clear. Going Nets. I don't think Sam's making the smart play. He's going Nets. My line, my line or spread, my line or spread. Oh, yeah, Marcellus, are you doing spread or money line? Take the money line. Okay, okay. He's being less risky than me. He's being less risky. What's the spread now? It's probably like minus four. It's it's minus seven and a half. Minus seven. That's a lot of points. That's a lot, but the money line is like minus 320. Like, you're not going to get like any points. Sam said spread. Sam said spread. No, that's smart. Oh, he, oh, he's taking he, Sam's also taking 320? the spread. So, oh man, those are some juicy odds. All right, Michael, last up, go ahead. Come on, Michael, Hold join up. the Hold party, up, join the party, join, join the, the party, join the smart I, side. I, I got, I got this. I'm scouting, please. I'm scouting, I'm scouting, I'm scouting. You know what? I may go NBA land, but I don't know who. Sh- There's a lot of decisions, decisions, decisions. Adam, I'm in a little funk. You know what I'm saying? I- I'm a little funk. There's a saying by Albert Sa- by Albert Einstein. It's insane. There's no such thing as insanity. Insanity. You do it over and over again. It's called insanity. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Grizzlies over Nets money. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I, and that's, I'm gonna do a parlay. I'm gonna do a parlay. I'm gonna do a parlay. Just some small betting for Mike. You gonna do a parlay? Just now, canceling that bet. I'm canceling that bet. Canceling no, it don't cancel. Like stupid don't Mike. cancel it. Mike's a coward. <laughs> don't cancel it, please, Michael. I'm begging you. Do not make He's me as the commissioner of this thing lock your bet in right now. Do not make me do that. What What do you want to cancel it for, you coward? I got big balls. I ain't cow- I ain't a coward. I know that. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm gonna do a three parlay bet. I can't believe I'm gonna pick the Grizzlies over Nets. <laughs> but John Morant has been unstoppable. So yeah, I'm going with Grizzlies over Chris. I swear to God, if I'm in second place tomorrow, dear help me, God, Chris, I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> I am going it's, to murder you to pieces. It's fine, we'll Chris. Just make it, we'll just make hold. our own head-to-head bet. Next episode for the Lakers Grizzlies game, and the Grizzlies will easily win that. Chris, so play, you better now pray in second place to anyway. God that the Grizzlies win. You better pray to Jesus Christ Himself that the Grizzlies win t- tonight. Well, let's go to three game so. parlay. I mean, the Grizzlies are missing a few of their best on ball defenders, but we'll see. I'm also picking Duke over Georgia Tech. Oh, uh, Michael picking a Duke game. Shocker. Shocker. And I'm also going to pick Kansas over Great Oklahoma pick. State. Great pick. And I'm going to cancel that next bet, Adam. I don't care what you call me. I got to stay in first place. <laughs> okay, so you're canceling. All right. This I respect it. I'm gonna, it's it's a coward move, move, but you got to be smart. <laughs> but my third bet will be, hold up. I'm going to do a uh, Providence versus Marquette. Providence against who? Marquette. You taking Providence? Yeah. Ooh. Providence over. I, would, I was going to pick uh, my, my boys team. I was going to pick. Oh, LSU versus Kentucky. That's a good matchup, but that's, that's a good matchup. That's a tough one to pick, though. Yeah, that's why I'm not picking it. You know what? I'm going to. I would pick I... Purdue. 
I would pick Purdue, but they suck. Go ahead, pick Purdue. What do you mean they suck? No, I'm not picking Purdue. All right. See, Sam agrees with me. That's why I mean, yo, Sam, I'm going to give you half my points when I win. What do you say, buddy? You're not. You can't do that. You're not going to win. Duke's going to lose to Georgia Tech. <laughs> Chris, you better curse on me, Chris. So hope. <laughs> Chris secretly hates me, guys. It's official. Chris secretly hates me in this house, in this in this place. Works for me. Chris got pictures of me at his house. Chris got pictures of me at his house. Definitely not. He has pictures of he has a gun holding my name to it, Adam. <laughs> make me some tea. Excuse me, boys. Are you gonna make the final bet? Are you making any more bets? I mean, he's made all three of his bets already, yeah, so he's just acting like he's gonna switch. Yeah, he's acting like he's good. He's he's he has I said for Michael Cunningham has no respect. If he loves to make tea, I feel like we can lock it in. Yeah, we'll lock in right now. That's we'll all for our bets, and that's all Wait, for this what? episode. Hold we'll now, lock it in. Up. No, you can't. We'll no, <laughs> no. You cannot go leave to make tea while you're making your bets. No, it's locked they in. You can't do that. You Adam, can't do that. I have a short throat. Oh, yeah, you have a short throat, all right? Ah, tough. Are you making any changes? <laughs> all right, this is it. Final chance, are you making any changes to your bet? For college sports? Yeah. Uh, no, you you right now have Duke or Georgia Tech. Kansas over Oklahoma, Providence over um whatever that our team was. Are you making any changes? No, I am not. All right, that's it. That's all for our bets. That's all for this episode, guys. I just want to say we uh, we hope all of us have a wonderful holiday season. We hope you have a great Christmas, great um New Year, and to all those celebrate. We also hope you had a great Kwanzaa as well. So, I mean. And I'll see Sam. We hope you had a, 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 whatever it is you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, we, and the new year. We hope you all had a very, very wonderful holiday season. I mean, do you guys have any, you guys want, have any thoughts, final thoughts? Go Grizzlies. Stay woke and stay black. Go Grizzlies, baby. Yeah, we're definitely, we're, we're, I mean, how many of you guys raise your hand right now if you're down to um, have like a uh, Zoom for that game? I'm down. I need to figure out my schedule because I fly. To Damn, I need to know when the game it, it starts at seven thirty. So for you, that would be six thirty. Yeah. Hopefully, I get out, so I'll I make can. more work tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe towards like the end. Maybe towards yeah, the end. To the end, if it's closed, we'll figure something out. Oh yeah, we'll fi- we'll definitely figure something yeah, out. We we'll... can... Sam, are you down? I can't for believe that? the rest of these guys hopped in on that. I was gonna be nice. Alex, are you, Alex, are you <laughs> down for that? Alex, are you down for that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Marcellus, are you down for that? Marcellus, he's yo, he's having sex right he's now. Asleep. <laughs> Marcellus is asleep. Marcellus is asleep. But again, like um, that game's gonna be one for we all. all Hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. I know I sure did. I hope all, 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 I hope all you guys. All, I hope Michael, Chris, Alex, Marcel, Sam. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. Wishing all the best. That's uh, for Hold our nice day too. I got in the show right now. That's it. This has been episode. <laughs> 63 of the Get a Game on Podcast. So you're truly our sign, Mike Cunningham, Alex Reach, Chris Keir, Marcel Spurdock, and Sam Rell. So you heard, leave a like and follow or subscribe to the podcast. Also, we're on Join the Cross and drop a comment for a review. Now we may feature it in a future episode. Remember, my friends, those who are just fancy. If you mention a world, believe in it and dive in. See you next time. And until then, stay lit. And route.